My head is spinning, heart pounding. I just crash landed on this unknown planet. The adrenaline is still coursing through my veins, and I'm trying to make sense of what just happened. One moment, I'm in the cockpit of my ship. The next, I'm here, in this life pod, staring out at an ocean of alien life. The shock of it all is a lot to take in. I'm exhausted, but I can't afford to rest. I need to figure out where I am, what's happening. My mind is a whirlwind of questions, but there's no one here to answer them. It's just me, alone in this strange new world. The water outside the life pod is teeming with life, life unlike anything I've seen before. It's daunting, terrifying even, but I don't have a choice. I need to know what's out there. There's nothing else for it. I have to dive into the unknown. I plunge into the water, and it's like entering a whole new universe. The alien ocean engulfs me, its depth immeasurable, its expanse intimidating. My heart races as I kick deeper, my body dwarfed by the vast alien waterscape. In this aquatic realm, I am but a tiny speck of life, amidst a sea of unknowns. The water around me teems with life, unlike anything I've ever seen. Creatures of diverse shapes and colors swim past me, their forms illuminated by the glow of bioluminescent corals. I see creatures with shimmering scales that reflect a thousand colors, organisms that pulse with soft light, and aquatic beings that seem to defy the very laws of biology. It's a spectacle of alien beauty that leaves me in awe. Yet with this fascination comes an undercurrent of fear. The creatures here are not just strange, they're unknown. Each new encounter brings a thrill of discovery but also a pulse of dread. What dangers lurk beneath these alien waves? What could be hiding in the darkened depths, watching, waiting? Despite my fear, I venture further from the life pod, drawn in by the allure of the unknown. With each stroke, I delve deeper into this alien world, driven by a curiosity I can't suppress. I'm far from the safety of my life pod now, swimming through an ocean of stars where every ripple in the water sends a shiver down my spine. Every sound, every movement, every shadow in the water stirs a primal fear within me, but I can't turn back. The alien ocean calls to me, a siren song luring me further into its depths. I'm entranced by its beauty, captivated by its mystery, and terrified by its unknown dangers. I'm far from the life pod now, but I can't stop. There's so much to see, so much to... Wait, what's that shadow? It's massive! It's... it's coming right at me! A rush of adrenaline floods my senses as I recognize the looming form of the Reaper Leviathan. It's a nightmare come to life, a monstrous alien creature, all too real in the eerily glowing waters of this alien world. My heart is pounding, each beat echoing in my ears louder than the last. It's a race, a terrifying game of cat and mouse, and I am the prey. The Leviathan's roar shakes my bones, its immense jaws snapping inches from my flailing limbs. I push harder, the taste of fear sharp on my tongue. The life pod, my sanctuary, is a beacon of hope in the distance. Every muscle screams in protest as I force myself towards it. The Leviathan's roar fades, replaced by the pounding of my heart. I scramble into the life pod, the door sealing shut behind me. I... I made it! I'm alive! I, I need to... I need to call for help! I scramble back into the life pod, heart pounding. I need to reach out, need to call for help. My fingers, trembling and slick with seawater, dance over the radio's controls. The static hums in my ears, a symphony of potential salvation. I push the transmit button, and for a moment I feel a flicker of hope. Desperation laces my voice as I send out my plea into the infinite void of space. The loneliness is overwhelming, a stark realization that I'm stranded on an alien planet surrounded by a vast uncharted ocean teeming with unknown creatures. The terror of my encounter with the monstrous leviathan still lingers, a chilling reminder of the dangers lurking beneath the water's surface. My voice echoes in the life pod, swallowed up by the silence. I'm alone, completely and utterly alone, yet I cling to the hope that someone, somewhere might hear my call. This is an SOS. I'm alone, stranded on an alien planet. If anyone can hear me, I need help. 